Peace and blessings out. Assalamu alaikum. I would like to greet you wherever you are. Hope everyone that's watching the video is on the best of health and keeping safe during these trying times. I'm grateful that nobody in my family has been affected with that COVID-19. Um, my income hasn't been affected, and I'm definitely grateful for that. I didn't have to apply for unemployment. Um, I have to work from home. I'm a Head Start teacher, so I have to just stay in contact with my parents as well as do some, you know, meeting with the children online using Zoom as well as send out activity links and things for them to do and send resources for the family in these trying times. I pray all is well with whoever is watching this video. Um, this is a little story time. It's been a while. I read a post on my Instagram that says, uh, I can't even read it because I had to use my phone to do my video because my laptop is acting up. But something about um, after man cheats, she, it says something about I don't care how good Jay-Z and Beyonce make it look after he cheated. No woman will ever look at that man the same. And I personally, honestly, agree with that. I'm burning sage, but I'm learning that I can't burn too much of this. Because I would tend to get a headache. Put in a window. So anyway, and I I have to agree with that. Um, I was cheated on by my husband about seven years ago, and immediately after it was exposed, he didn't want me to leave. Kind of interesting. It was kind of interesting that he didn't want me to leave. And he tried to reconcile with him, and I just completely cut him off. Um, For four years, he had no contact with me whatsoever. I did share this story on my, on my, um, in one of my videos on my page, on my channel. But anyway, and then after the fourth year, I was thinking about reconciling, but I realized ain't nothing changed about him. He didn't grow mentally, emotionally, nor spiritually, nor financially. And I was like, no can do. Two years later, again, come out here, surprised my our daughter. Came out here, saw for a quick minute, of maybe two weeks after that. Started texting me, wanting to see me, when can we go to the hotel? I'm telling her I don't do the hotel, I'm a grown ass woman. Um... You have to earn that. But then I, I sat and I was like, oh, hell no, um, Amanda, you would not be going back to that. Married or not. Um, and I had to finally let him know. We will never get back together. I will always love you, but we will never get back together. Not only did you cheat, you got someone pregnant. And you allowed that woman to disrespect me and my children. So, no. And he doesn't bother me anymore. Um, the divorce petition is sitting in a um, Philadelphia courts. I updated the petition and I'm waiting for this COVID-19 to be over so I can reserve him and refile the updated paperwork so I can get this divorce done because I need the divorce done. Not only do I don't, don't want to be with him ever, ever again in that sense, we share a child together. He don't have to call me or talk to me because she's she be 16 years old. He can call her directly. He can text her directly. He don't have to call me for anything, and I'm grateful for that. The other thing is I am in a relationship, and i am been with him two years, and he's starting to pressure me, like, when are you going to get this divorce? You know, so I, was, I had to get on top of it. I was like, okay, I got to spend this money, but come to find out, I only had to spend $139 because the divorce already is sitting in the courts, just waiting for the rest of the pot, um, paperwork to be um, filed because he didn't sign it the first time. And it just fell through the loophole. So I updated the divorce petition. Um, and guess what? I'm not claiming no child support or nothing like that. They ain't got nothing to give me anyway. Nor her. But as a wife, I have that right to put that in a petition. But I'm like, I've been taking care of by myself. But I always tell me, you never send a dime for him. I can count on on one hand how many times this man actually sent money, money um, for her. And it wasn't a lot. I need the sage to go out. It never burnt like this before. It always would go out. Must be some good sage. 
So I'm learning. And I have learned that a man is only going to do what the woman allows him. If he can run in and out your life and never respect you, well, he'll do it if you let him. If he can lay up in your house and not do anything, not work, not bring any money, not uplift you emotionally, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, or financially, he ain't going to do it. If you're that type of woman that's so big on having a half of a man in store instead of a whole man, well, that's what he's going to do. I don't see how any woman wouldn't be sharing a man that ain't doing nothing for her. And when I, you know, look back, he was somebody I had no business with, but you live and you learn. But I just want to share that. I, there's some women can do it. Um, and it's for, for many reasons why they will stay with a man that cheated on him. But for me, physically cheating is the worst. To actually lay down a seat with someone knowing that you marry. Because you have no self-control because you don't love yourself. I think men who sleep around is men who don't love themselves. I also think they have a lot of issues. They, they broken. Just like women are broken, men are broken. I, be, I just think they have a lot, a lot of issues that need to work out. And like I always tell my daughter, because she was very, very, very angry. She's just now coming around to learning that we can't control what other people do. We only control what they do to us. Anybody that's going to mistreat you, disrespect you, use you, manipulate you, abuse you, someone you don't want in your life. And I don't care who it is, a spouse, a child, a parent, a cousin, a sibling, anybody. That goes for anybody. If you have people in your life that doesn't have any respect for you, that's not treating you the way you're supposed to be treated, that's because you are allowing it. And you have every right to cut that person off. Some women are afraid to leave a man. That's because they don't love themselves. So I would rather be single than sleep with a man who does not respect me, who doesn't embarrass me, humiliate me, abuse me. Because cheating is a form of emotional abuse. But I love myself. A lot. And I could never be with a man. Once you cheat, you got to go. And you got to stay going. <laughs> There's too many men out here for me to be not loving myself to let a man go because I'm married to him legally. Fuck what society says. I want a healthy relationship whether I'm married or not. Any man that's in my life got to be respecting me. He got to be working. He must be taking care of his children if he have, have any. I don't want nobody else's man. I don't want a man who's attached. I don't want a man. Sometimes you got to ask the man, are you in a relationship with anybody? He may say no, but you got to ask him, is there anybody in a relationship with you? Because <laughs> a lot of women don't realize and don't understand that because you give your body to a man, don't make y'all a couple. A man can fake a relationship, especially if he needs somewhere to stay. Especially if he don't love himself and he don't got nothing going on for himself. They be needing a woman to take care of them. They be needing a place to live. They be needing a woman who's going to give them money. Y'all out here having these baby bees by these married men that don't even respect you. Can't even take care of the child. And you know what was so sad? The side chick. <laughs> she told me. Because I was like, I don't know why he laying down with you and got you pregnant. He can't even afford to take care of two kids he already had. She had the nerve to say, well, he going to take care of my baby. With what money? With what money? And it's sad to not only have a baby by mad, a man married or not and if he doesn't, do, doesn't support that child financially as that child's father, and you can't support the child either, but you thought it was okay to go have this child to keep this man connected to you, that means them type of women need a lot of help. Because if you're going to have a baby, you should be able to provide for that child financially with or without a man. You should not have to go to be, to be dependent on welfare and then that man end up on child support. That was some funny shit that he told me that he ended up on child support. 
I'm like, from who? And it wasn't from me. I'm the wife. <laughs> no, because the tie chip. Once we lost a little job and had to get um public assistance. And you know when you're on public assistance and you got a child and they give you money to take care of that child, guess what they're going to do? They're going to make you take the father to child support. But guess what? You're not going to get the money back. The money going to go right back into the system. So if you're having a man, a baby by man who can't support the child, use a dummy. Especially if you can't support that child as well. If you have a baby just to try to get a check, putting that man in the system, use a dummy because that man ain't going to never be able to get his life right as long as the state controls him. I would never. <laughs> and I'd be laughing sometimes at the whole situation because... She was like, oh, he going to do, if he loved you, he would have put you in a predicament to lose you. Hello? Love ain't got nothing to do with cheating. If he respected me, he wouldn't have did what he did. It ain't got nothing to do with love. It got everything to do with him not respecting himself or respecting women. Period. Because not only did he cheat on me with the side chick, he cheated on the side chick with me when he tried to get back with me. I tell you, you love, and you love, he cheated on a side chick with the wife. They tried to do it again. If I didn't love myself, I would have felt for that crap. <laughs> and it's just recently what happened in January, February. And March was when I told him, no, we can't be together. Because he would have been still texting me, talking about when can he see me. <laughs> I don't want no man that don't work. I don't want no man that got multiple baby mamas. I don't want no man who don't love himself. I'm sorry. I don't want no man because I mean I'm, you know, I've been working on myself for the last years. I'm gonna be working on myself until the day I die. I love myself. You understand? And I'm not putting up with anything just to say, "Ooh, <laughs> I got a man." A man that don't work. A man that can't support his children. A man that cheats. A man that don't love himself. Kind of sad. But like I used to tell my daughter, baby girl, we will have a last laugh. Because he put us through a lot. But we're not over here suffering. We're not over here starving. Because my daughter has a mother. Who knows what to do? My daughter has a mother who's not dependent upon a man for love, for anything. I want a man who loves himself because if he loves himself and takes damn good care of himself, then he could do the same for me. And a man doesn't make me happy because I'm already happy with or without a man. A man is going to add to my happiness. And if he can add to my happiness, he got to go because he's not the man for me. And there are a lot of great men out here. But if you're too busy holding on to the wrong one, you're going to miss him. Got to go.